I made a video reacting to episode two of Velma, and I said that if it hits 10,000 likes, I would do episode three. It hit those 10,000 likes. Velma episode three, I promise we'll do it. If this one is 10,000 likes, we'll go to the next one. I don't know why I do this. We're gonna jump right into it, and hopefully cry only a little this time. Please don't leave a like on the video, but if it does hit 10,000 likes, we will be watching episode four together. It can't get worse. It's not gonna get worse, right? Previously on Velma. Oh, good, previously. The last place my mom's cell phone- Yeah, we're not. We're not watching the previously. What the hell just happened? So yeah, let's do this. I've avoided it long enough with winks and nods. Let's finally talk about the only thing you've ever really wanted to know about me. Is Velma da- I didn't want to know anything about her. Increase. G -g 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 Velma, snap out of it! You fed the cat Sophie's prenatal vitamins. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was just thinking about- Mom. And oh, animal abuse? Lol. Sorry. Only mom. She disappeared at Fred's house. Bye. <gasps> Norville, guess what Daphne gave me? Uh, is it mononucleosis? Because I saw you two kiss last night. Daphne and me kiss? What? Her hands on my hips? What? The heat of a thousand suns passing between us? What? Okay, you can stop. Infinite, infinite. Okay, okay, please stop. Kiss, but it's not a big deal. You possibly being gay is a huge deal. For one, it reduces me to a cliched straight best friend. Norville, we only kissed. I mean, yes. Because Daphne was trying to stop a hallucination. She gave me what the frick? My mom's cold kiss file, and guess what? The last place her cell phone pinged was Fred's house. Wait, Fred? That's huge. Though not you might be gay here. Okay, stop. In this day and age, you can't speculate about someone's sexuality unless they're famous. Oh! Stop doing this! I don't deserve this! Patty, wait, you didn't tell anyone, did you? Mazel on your first kiss, Velma. You told her your dad? He's a therapist. I thought you might want to talk to someone about whether you like women, or maybe women and one cool guy. Your dad is a high school. This dude's like, okay, she might be gay, but maybe she's gay and also shaggy sexual. Well, guidance counselor, the lowest form of therapist. He's worse than the free therapy app I downloaded that's obviously Russian spyware. Oh, это Вельма. Интересно, она гей? Okay, well, I think you're gonna have a little more respect for my dad. I, I love how he didn't jump to bisexual. He didn't say she's bisexual. No, 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 no. He said she's a lesbian and also attracted to him. Morning. He's running a mental health assembly to help students process the murders. There's gonna be hella pamphlets. <laughs> well, that sounds like someone that is processing the murders pretty well. It's like, oh, we can process the murders, guys. Welcome, kids. I'm Menso, a mental health squirrel. There's everything wrong with this. Good morning, my students! Good morning. Good, morning. Good morning, Mom! And now my turn! Good morning, my students! Good morning, morning Dad! Dad. Good yeah, morning. we all saw that one. Good morning, my beautiful boy! And welcome to the Crystal Cold High School Mental Health Assembly! How y'all doing? Good? Bad, you idiot! Two of our friends had their brains removed by Fred Jones. See, your dad is worse for teen mental health than waist trainers. Well, you could talk to me about your feelings. My dad says therapy. Oh you. my I God! Just to admit she never wanted kids. Norvell, I don't need to talk to anyone about anything. Oh God, Daphne's looking right at me. Hide. People comfortable opening up. So in sum, you can't spell mental health without me. You can't spell kill me without me either. <laughs> okay. Okay. That. This is this is so bad and painful. Oh my god, dude. That's enough. Unless someone has a topper? No? Well, in addition to spending three minutes on mental health, the school board is requiring that all girls attend a women's self-defense class eh? to protect themselves oh from any god. future serial killers. Uh, why don't the boys have to take a don't murder girls class? Because I only have $50 in the budget to combat centuries of toxic masculinity. Now, please welcome your women- Like, I- I am struggling to comprehend the purpose. Like, who is this for? Who is this against? It's like, oh yeah, men, men, men are just gonna rape, guys. Listen, men, men are just gonna rape. They're just gonna murder. So like, we're not gonna do anything here to help men because men are just gonna murder, okay? Women self-defense class, baby. Women self-defense class teachers. It's always the same people. There's like four people in this entire city. All right, ladies, 
who's ready to grab their friends and roll around on the floor for a little bit. So hot! <laughs> oh, God! Get off your ass! We are going to talk to Fred about my missing mom right now. Oh, give me one of those tattoos that's actually secret clues about how to escape prison. I learned how to do this while at Ole Miss. I can do butterflies and Confederate flags. Oh, Jones, good. there's like a talking meatloaf here to see you. Velma? That was the best line in the entire show. Norville, how do I look? Is it obvious I have two beanbags in my bra? Wait, are you still attracted to Fred? He's a convicted serial killer who might be connected to your mom's disappearance. That's why I'm so confused about Daphne. Sure, she was my first kiss, but whenever I used to make out with my hand, I called it- Stop! Okay. Stop all of this! Just no, why? Oh, what? I... Who wrote this? Hey, Thelma, you have to talk about this with someone. I don't have time. I have to focus on- She doesn't have to do anything. She'll figure it out. She's a kid. She's in high school. Out what happened to my mom? So many mysteries. So little time. Daphne? Maybe another kiss will help clear things up. <laughs> oh, God. Hi. Velma, what do I do? Oh. No, don't kiss me. I'm already too confused. Kissing me would confuse you? Wait, why? This isn't about you right now. Just make me laugh like last time. But a kiss might awaken passions we've been too scared to admit. Why deprive ourselves that knowledge? Uh... <laughs> oh my god, that was hilarious. Thank you, Norm. <laughs> Great. If I'm banned from prison, how am I going to question Fred about my mom? So sad, bro. So sad and so bad. Bad and sad and sad and bad. Ugh. Mom's disappearance. Let me question Fred. I have a plan. You just need to figure out your feelings for Daphne. Also, your beanbags are leaking. Uh... Okay, listen up. These are the skills you need to survive. When a massive burly man springs up and attacks you, notice she said when you get attacked, not if. Don't fight. Just make like a- Yes, when, because as you know, all males are just waiting to attack females. A grown man who lightly stubbed his toe, yell, fall down, and go limp. Now, to demonstrate, we've pre-selected our own daughter Daphne to play the beautiful but vulnerable victim. While and the Velma will, will be, be the- Velma. Who's calling me gruff? I'm not gruff. Wait, I'm with Daphne? Uh, I have to go to the bathroom. Uh, me too. <clears throat> Comedy, guys. Hey. Hey. So, uh, this is so stupid, but before rolling around on each other, I thought maybe we should talk about our, uh, kiss? Just in case you're confused. I am. I mean, hanging out- Just in case you're confused. Drugs together yesterday made me realize how much I've missed our friendship. Oh man, selling drugs reunites people. That's the lesson here, kids. So I guess my question is, do you like me? Like you? I haven't really thought about it. You were dating Fred until he went to prison. Do you like me? <laughs> I asked you first. Don't try to make me the vulnerable one here. Well, I mean, you kissed me. To stop your hallucination. But then you kissed me like, whoa. Well, then let's just say we kissed each other. Even though we both know it was you who kissed me. Which is impossible because uh... I don't like you like that. I like Fred. Oh, good. Because I don't like you like that either. Perfect. We're on the same page. Wow, I'm so glad we resolved all our issues before we had to punch each other. Me too. Uh... And fight to see who's less vulnerable. Ah! Ah! What ah. the hell, Daphne? If I was a real attacker, you could have hurt me. You're supposed to go limp. And potentially let myself get hurt by you instead? My journal's not gonna believe this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nani! Ladies, there is no room for personal beef in this clay. It's impressively boring, too. Like, it's, it's actively hard to pay attention to the show. We are not here to attack each other. At least not until tomorrow. Why? What's tomorrow? Oh, no, is it fajita day in the cafeteria? Last year, some kid lost an eye fighting for guac. No. After mastering today's self-defense techniques dude why she sounds like she's on a different microphone oh you'll be competing in the all crystal cove women's self-defense class tournament what 
How will fighting girls help us defend ourselves against attacks from guys? Is first prize a gun? Now, great idea. But the point of this is to determine who is the least vulnerable girl in school. Ugh. Okay, but is the best way to prevent an attacker really just to become one? Works for Batman. Good luck tomorrow, girls. And may the least vulnerable girl win. <laughs> <laughs> Just kiss already. Yo, Giga could like this show. It has gay girls. Let's go. Wait, you want to give me therapy? I don't know. Jones men normally bury their emotions until they explode on a family vacation. Sure, but therapy isn't just a great way for therapists to remodel their kitchens. It also helps people. And I thought there might be some things in your past you'd want to discuss. Like how father stood me up at my birthday party. I tried to steer the hot air balloon myself, but I was only Bro, four. So huh. sad. Yeah, you'd think we should start there. Dude, is this same lady with the baby here? The same lady? She's just always here. But I'd actually rather talk about moms. Uh, I do miss my mom. Uh, prison is cool, but nobody watches me pee quite like mother. Wow. <laughs> what? I'm gonna say that one more time. Prison is cool, but nobody watches me pee quite like mother. There is so much wrong with that sentence. That whole sentence. Wow, another great place to start. But what do you think about Velma's mom, Dia Dinkley? She went missing at your house. Uh, uh, you know, I think visiting time's over. I should go. Everything okay over here with the guy who put me in prison? Look, pal, I don't want any problems. I'm just talking to my friend on behalf of- I didn't even realize that this is the same guy as the last episode. Lamau, bro. A friend who might become more than a friend if I play my cards right. And you're wasting your time. I love how he's saying, yeah, I'm just trying to, uh, make sure that the right person that's convicted of the crime stays in jail. And also, mostly, it's just because, you know, I, I don't really care about that. And I I just kind of want to wow a girl. I'm buddy. Romantic relationships between old friends rarely work out. It's always one-sided. That's not true! Ah! Ooh. Uh-uh. Now watch me! I, I love how it's like, they, this whole fight, to determine who is the least vulnerable, okay? It's like, the, the message here is, all women are vulnerable, okay? Okay, first girl to move the other off the mat advances. Ready? I'm gonna beat the Brazilian butt lift out of you. You'll never undo the work of Dr. Gross. I'm on the website. And fight. What? Woo! Yes! No! <laughs> <Get over there>. <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic. Wow, I can't believe I was gonna fake a limp to get out of this. Well, she's already sweating. She's already swimming, sweating, sweating her ass off. She didn't even move yet. That's it. Go limp. <laughs> ah, protect my butt. What the hell was that? Did you see how she snuck past her? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> what the freak am I watching? Protect my butt. Please throw me on my face. Sorry, I can't tell which one's what. <laughs> That's the worst line I've ever heard. She coughed the silicone out of her butt. What is this showing? It's like, oh yes, she can defeat everyone because she's fat. Her fatness is her power. She's just leaning on people and they're dying. How is this even real? So how is this even real? This man was in prison. How'd he get hurt? He was in prison. One of the prisoners beat him up. Like where this show is like making stuff up out of its own ass. Well, he pushed me and I said, classic transference. And that's the last thing I remember. Guess I'm not as great a therapist as I thought. Norville, stop. First rule of therapy, you are as great as you think you are. 
Unfortunately, no that is a terrible lesson, and no one should learn that. No one will ever take you seriously as a therapist without this one little thing. Uh, PhD in psychology? <laughs> Let me guess. No, being white. If he says that, I will be so mad. And also a little proud. Please, I never finished mine and literally no one's checked. No. The only thing a therapist really needs is a good cardigan. You see, mine would have been much funnier. It makes you look so dumpy and non-threatening. People instantly feel comfortable opening up to you. How do I look? Like I want to scream about how loud your mom chews. Hey, it's working already. Hmm. Daphne, this is ridiculous. Are we really going to fight instead of just talking about what happened? If memory serves, I asked you a question. I'm still waiting for an answer. Fine, I'll admit it. I do like you like that. What, are you scared of having feelings for a girl? Velma, please, I have two moms. I was baptized on the set of Ellen. It's just, I have a lot more at stake than you. Huh? I mean, she also just stabbed the girl. Uh, Daphne, why are you talking to that? Oh, I get it. You have more at stake because I'm not as popular as you. What? You're not popular at all. Well, let's see how popular you are after I kick your perfect ass, Daphne. <laughs> <laughs> I do like you like that, but I'm just more popular, so we can never be. Oh, I'll give you something to journal about. Dear Diary, gird your loins. This is the worst phrase ever. Wait, they pulled me out of mosque for you? Yes, I thought we could continue your therapy. What? No way. Why would I want to... Whoa, I feel funny. Did they drug our food again? Uh, hmm. So what were we talking about, Doc? We were discussing your feelings about the night Velma's mom, Dia, went missing. Right. So father had just bought our house. It was a dump, and he had this brilliant idea to burn it for the insurance money. But instead of fraud, you committed murder. Oh, I wish you can get over murder, but this could ruin a man. I'll never tell. So unflattering and disarming. Oh, I am actually suffering. This is so bad. Oh, my God. Oh, the truth is, on the night we were going to burn it down, my father stood me up. Just like on my birthday. Only this time, Bill Gates didn't even jump out of a cake for me. Wait, that's it? And that's worse than murder? Oh, then some Indian lady pulled up. Yes. Tell me about her. Why? You into that? Respect. No. What was she doing there? I don't know. My dad told me never to pay attention to women over 35. The show gets worse. Every freaking second. Okay, this is useless. You clearly had nothing to do with Diaz kidnapping. <gasps> Sorry, Doc. You're not getting out of here until you help me with my passive aggression. It's not so passive. But if you really want to leave, I guess I can just go suffer with the other guys waiting to talk to you. Oh. Welcome of the You know what would make the show unironically better? If Dio showed up and murdered everyone. It was you thought I was Velma's mom, but it was me, Dio, and he shows up and murders everyone. Who's ready for some bone-crushing empowerment? This is a competition to to see who the least vulnerable is. This is not empowerment even a little. Social media reach of 12,300. Weak. Weak. Merely 12,300 social media reach. Ha! Pathetic. Oh. Oh, lame. Pathetic. I could tweet the letter A on TikTok and more people will see that. Jackhammer. Blake. And in the other corner, weighing in at how dare you. And with a social media reach of, she says she's too good for it, Velma, Indian middle name, Dinkley! Yay. Sit down. Now let's find out which girl is less vulnerable. Hydrate up. You're gonna need it when you're crying later. Wow, I haven't seen someone this overly uh. confident since my mom's on election day 2016. Really thought Jill Stein had it. Anyway. Ah! <laughs> what? your stomach so hard are you a robot is that why you never shower after gym no my stomach's like my lips soft and a lot of weird noises come out of it what you felt was wait that's my journal yeah and i'm about to perform the audiobook 
With voices and everything, in it? Velma, please don't do this. You hurt me, I hurt you. Hey! This is so messed up. Everyone, so you all think Daphne is the perfect, beautiful girl next door, right? Well, it's a lie. According to her own journal, Daphne is so messed up that she has a daily session with our school guidance counselor, Lamont, to discuss her issues. That's it? That's the exposed? All right, Daphne, beat the crap out of her, please. Guys, come on. I just made Daphne vulnerable. I win. Now laugh as we watch her precious popularity fade away. Why would we do that? Mental health is no joke, no matter how lame Lamont is. Yeah, no matter how lame I am. Oh no. Deserved. Shame she didn't hit her harder. Look, Velma, the only way you're going to avoid suspension is if you apologize to Daphne. I have to apologize? She can't- Yeah? Kick me so hard my tubes are now tied. I mean, that was literally the competition, though. Yes, but you hurt her feelings, which is way worse these days. Based! He, like, I love how they say this as a joke. They say this as a joke. Could you just- <sighs> Gets me upset. Gets me sad. <sighs> they say it as a joke. That Oh, yes. Words are- much worse these days. Like, oh, the cringe snowflakes. But she deserves it! That was literally uncalled for! Now, would you care to tell me why? No way. And good luck trying to get in my head without your cardigan, sucker. Yeah, Norville told me about your little trick. Oh my Fine. god. Fine. I know I have to talk to someone about my feelings for Daphne, but... Uh... But my mom is the person I talk to when I'm confused. And talking to anyone else feels like a betrayal. Bro, your mom was gone for 10 years. Get a life. Like, I'm admitting she's gone for good. I see that, but hasn't not talking to someone else gotten you even further from finding her? Huh. Okay, that feels smart, but it's coming from you, so... Yeah! No, I surprised myself there. I'm really just supposed to talk to kids about college, but my point is... Nope, lost it. I think you meant that by refusing to figure out my feelings for mm -hmm. Daphne in the beginning. Yep, he meant that. I just made this whole mess with her instead. That's it. You know, a smart girl like you would be real Smith College material. Okay, but do I still have to apologize to Daphne? I only read her journal because she said she was too popular for me. Up to you, Velma. But sometimes when you're being attacked, the best thing to do is... Go limp. You're right. Huh? I was going to say, go for the eyes. <laughs> uh... So it looks like parents. Good news, right? No, it's terrible news. It means my big clue is a dead end and Fred is probably innocent. Yeah, but isn't it a little comforting to see a rich white guy get wrongly convicted for once? Oh! <laughs> no! Injustice is bad in every kind! Oh. Lol racism. Uh, lol. Hot racism. <laughs> I'm too distracted to enjoy it. I need to- Oh, poor girl. Too distracted to enjoy the false imprisonment of an innocent man. Make things right with Daphne. Wait for me, okay? I love how Shaggy is such a huge simp. Like, he's literally the biggest simp that ever lived. Unless you feel like getting me a snow cone and immediately coming back. Sure, I don't have anything else scheduled for right now. Oh, crap! Is this Family Guy humor? Uh, just please, just make it this for the rest of the episode. Well, ten minute rule. Norville's not coming. Guess I'll have to channel my childhood trauma into becoming a lawyer and helping my imprisoned brothers appeal their convictions. No, nobody leaves. Why does everyone think they can stand me up? Okay, riot it is. <laughs> What do you want, Velma? I came to apologize. I'm sorry I read your journal out loud to everyone in school. 
Thelma. Yes, I know, I know. Now you want to apologize to me. For what? For saying I'm not popular enough for you. I never said that. Well, someone said it. You said it. And I meant it. This has nothing huh? to do with popularity, Velma. Do you even know why I've been talking to Lamont? No, honestly, I just flipped through your journal looking for sexy stuff. Bit of a snooze, IMHO. Okay, well, I'm talking to him because searching for my birth parents has brought up a lot of feelings of abandonment for me. Oh. I'm oh, sorry. I don't care even when a little. My mom... oh. Exactly. When your mom went missing, you abandoned me too. What? Only after you got hot and ditched me. That's not true. You shut me out first. I shut everyone out. I still haven't seen my dentist, nor do I intend to. Okay, so maybe a little uh? falling out lies with me. And then we kissed, and it was amazing. But you said you didn't like me like that, and I freaked out. Because I thought you were going to go away again. So wait. Is this an apology? Well, do you like me? You know I do, but I'm also, kill me, super attracted to Fred. Whoa, you do need therapy. Honestly, I think what I really need is oh, a friend. Oh, this is awesome. Me too. Is, uh, please also, just end. maybe a friend who fucks. No. No, no. Let's just keep it simple and try and be friends again. Yeah, you're right. I can only obsess over one woman at a time, and right now it has to be my mom. That sounds really wrong. So should we hug it out? Friends hug. Boobs touch, no crotch. Boobs touch, no crotch. Uh. Maybe let's just shake, yeah? Yes, love a shake. Just two friends sharing a casual handshake. Good night, friend. Good night, friend. This is so bad. It's unbelievable. Like, it just gets worse and worse. <laughs> well, at least my hallucinations are back to normal. What the hell, Norville? You were supposed to drive me home. Now I have to walk. I have literally never been madder. Oh. Hi, Dad. This feels like extortion. It is extortion. Every time someone leaves a like on my video, it extorts me into watching the next episode. Son, I hate to say it, but you're not ready for the cardigan. With medium power comes medium responsibility. I know. I'm sorry. Uh... Hey. Crystal Cove Insane Asylum? Why is this in here? What? Oh, oh that! I, uh, I, I have a friend who works there, Dr. Uh, bad Excuse. Hmm. Why do you have this, Dad? Son, there's something I need to tell you about your mother. She's been cheating on me with some other person, and that's why you don't look white even a little. Hey, stranger. Uh, uh, please stop. Bro, when Velma ends and you guys stop leaving likes, soon, hopefully. I'm just taking a screenshot of this so I can use it as a thumbnail so I never have to look at any of this video, any of this show again. If I have, I, I look forward to hate watching something else because the hate watching of this has been excruciating and I'd rather hate watch other things. 